What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to 24 Beers, 24 Days. I'm sorry we've had such a delay. Oh my gosh, some things happened that just... Anyway, if you've watched the video about the unforeseen circumstances, you know. So, we're going to continue with number 19, which is the Munch, Munchshof, Munchshof. I should know how to pronounce the name by now. Original Pills. Munchhoff Original Pills. And I'm sure it's quite good because it's Kumbacher, and Kumbacher is normally quite good, so let's open this up and try. Oh, it didn't make the cool sound. It's okay. It actually smells really good for a pills. Let's try this. So. Yo, that was pretty good. Pretty good pour if I do say so myself. Look at that. Ah, good one. All right, so I have never had this beer before, so let's get straight to the beer. It's pills. As far as pills goes, not too bad, but not my taste. Not my taste. And Louisa is hiding. Trying not to be on video back there. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's just come out, but she's... <laughs> anyway, I'm going to continue drinking this to get a rating for you guys. You know, it's not really bad, but I just can't handle the the bitterness. It's a it's a reason that I don't like pills in general, is how bitter they are, and really just overbearing. And it leaves its nastiness there, and it has a really quite a harsh aftertaste. So I'm I'm just not impressed. I'm not impressed. Pills people will like it. But I'm not a pills guy. So I'm going to give this uh, Kumbacher Munchtoff pills a 5.5 a out of 10. I don't like it. Not going to lie. It's beer, and I'll drink it. But it's not very pleasing to the, uh, to the tongue. So anyway, this is a double header night because of the issues we've had. So I'm going to snap right into the next video, and it's going to happen in three, two, one. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Cut to had a little bit of an issue with the first video, but I'm back for the second half with beer 20, which I have already poured previously. It's really good. It's really good. Uh, it's kind of like a halfway between a pills and a hell. Yeah, and it doesn't leave much of an aftertaste, if any, really. It's got re really the, the flavor notes of hell, the, the hellless beer, comes through more than the pills. But, so that's nice, because I don't like pills, as you found out from the last video. Anyway... Um, before I was so rudely forced to redo this, um, I gave it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. Once again, Augustiner came through. Uh, really, that should be the hint, though. I mean, uh, Augustiner is really a great thing. So, uh, whenever you find an Augustiner beer, and I think they sell them in the States. I think they're available some places, so look for that that seal, the JW 
over Skeeter. Good stuff. Good stuff. They didn't let me down once again. And, like always, if you enjoy what I'm doing, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and, like, you know, please leave some ideas. Ideas are always great. Uh, places to go, beers to drink, adventures to go on, travels, all that junk. This is not just a beer channel, even though we've had only beer shows so far. There's going to be a lot more to it. So I hope you all will stick around for that. If you like travel and you like beer, this is the place for you. All right, guys. So tomorrow we will have another double header video night. Uh, I don't remember what the views are, but that's okay. You'll find out tomorrow with me. So until next time, as always, have a good night and prost.